All right, guys, welcome in to a little future college football state. All right, guys, welcome into a future college football stadium tour where I'm going to go over all the new college football stadiums, the renovations that are coming this offseason in the future. We're going to start with some of the bigger projects and work our way down. There's a lot of different renovations. I probably got like six or seven different ones that uh, I was able to pull just happening this offseason going into next season. Uh, but first, I wanted to talk about a few bigger projects. The uh, Penn State project where, you know, it's very clear they knew they need to significantly renovate their stadium. I will note that that rendering, I believe, was made in 2018. So that that, that probably will not be what they do when it comes to the massive overhaul renovation that Penn State will be receiving. They still want to keep the same stadium. They just want a massive renovation. And I believe they're looking at hiring the same uh, group that did Kyle Field and, you know, that massive Texas A&M uh, addition to seating. They wouldn't be adding any seating. They're already over 100K, but a lot of it would be like NFL type seats where it's just super outdated right now. Um, and they would really renovate it. Apparently, it would cost over $500 million, and it is, quote, a massive multi-year project. This has been rumored all the going back, I believe, to 2018, and it is still a ways away from groundbreaking, but Penn State knows they probably need an update. You know, it'll be very interesting to see how... Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan, some of these teams that have these really massive stadiums, you know, what do they go about in terms of renovating them? Will there be a college stadium boom to where colleges will get new stadiums? Will they limit the capacity down to like 85 or 90K? One of the interesting things I found is it's, it actually seems like it's becoming the opposite in terms of college versus the NFL. The NFL is trying to limit the attendance. They're down to like 75, 70K. Um, and with college, it's like it's an exclusive club to be a part of the, you know, 100,000 type seat venues. And, and, and more and more teams want that. And we've seen teams expand seating, especially the bigger universities. And I'm sure Penn State, one of the things they said if they were to do a renovation, they would want to make sure they stay over 100K in terms of capacity because they could certainly fit it. And, and Penn State is kind of entering their true golden years in terms of football, so we will see there. And then we do have Ryan Field, and this is a confirmed thing that's going to be happening in 2026. That's when it will be opening for Northwestern. I'm sure the Big Ten is very happy about that. Uh, their current Ryan Field is just a complete joke. You know, it kind of looks like a high school stadium. This will probably be called Ryan Field 2 because the Ryan family is, I believe, funding 100% of this stadium. They gave their biggest donation to Northwestern, which was just south of half a billion dollars. And I think they're giving the rest at a certain point to fund this new stadium. So this is desperately needed for Northwestern. But that's coming in 2026. And then taking a look at uh, a concept for Kansas. And how about Kansas football? Last year really making some noise. I believe they only finished with like six or seven wins. But still, they started 5-0. and It says plan shows Kansas will, would build 600-seat conference event center in North Bowl of football stadium. And the South End would get a new plaza. That's an article from a few months ago, and there are renderings on that for Kansas. And certainly Kansas needs to upgrade their stadium in the Big 12. It's just not to standard. We know they've had a terrible football program. They recently, you know, talk about how bad their stadium was. They recently got the track removed, you know, like around the high school stadiums, they have the track. Well, Kansas had that. And they recently at least got rid of it. And now it's all about enclosing the stadium, building it up a little bit. And hopefully this is a project that can happen in the coming years. I do not believe it is confirmed, but you would have to figure with how Kansas was in terms of their football success, finding some footing. That's a project that they certainly need to explore because their stadium is just not on the level. And that makes it 
even harder to recruit. Uh, next we have is a potential planned stadium for USF called USF Stadium. Uh, it is an on-campus stadium that they certainly need. You know, anytime you play at an NFL, you know, like Raymond James, that, that's where UCF football is playing. You, you've just got no chance in terms of recruiting. Half of the stadium is empty because it seats 75K in your South Florida. You're just not going to fill that. So this is a long-term proposal. Looks like they want to build about five or six different things, including the crown jewel, the brand new stadium on their campus that would possibly go up by the year 2027, but I wouldn't hold your breath on that at all. And I'll be honest, it looks very nice, looks very peaceful around the stadium there. It looks like a very small capacity. I don't want to take too much into the rendering because maybe that's not what it would look like at all, but looks like a capacity of about 30, maybe 35K there in terms of that one right there. Uh, and then we do have the Miami potential new stadium. It was only a matter of time. I predicted that this would happen. So the big donor from Miami, I think his name's Ruiz or something, Ryan Ruiz, he proposed Miami build their own uh, actual stadium, which they need 1,000%. You know, it's funny how all those Miami boosters throw around money all of your attention should be going to getting a new stadium. It really should be. That's like the number one thing you need. If you want to be considered a top program in college football, you, you can't be playing at, you know, an, an NFL stadium. It's just, it's not going to work out. It is a terrible atmosphere. Even though they did renovate Miami's, uh, what is it called? It's not called Sun Life anymore. I, I can't keep track of the names, but whatever it's called, I don't know. This new one that they've got planned, I don't even know what that ring there is at the top. I'm not sure what that is. But it says, big time Miami Hurricanes booster releases renderings for proposed stadium at Tropical Park. One of the biggest boosters for the University of Miami has revealed his stadium dreams. John H. Ruiz wants to build a 60,000-seat stadium for the Hurricanes at Tropical Park off Bird Road in southwest Miami. And so we will end up seeing what happens there. It says the process would be very similar to Freedom Park, which was just approved by the voters and it would basically mirror the process. That's what Ruiz says. So if you're a Miami fan, you have to have at least a little hope. I know that Freedom Park, the uh, MLS stadium that got approved, you know, that is good news if you are a Miami fan hoping to get an actual stadium. Next, we have Louisiana getting a very, very much needed makeover to their overall stadium, installing new suites. Looks very, very nice compared to what it what was. It's going to have a new West Tower with club seats, a club level, and a new press box, new lighting, a revamped sound system, a renovated West Side seating, a new facade on the Eastern Side, and more offices as well in the stadium. The stadium upgrades will not be... Well, actually, they should be beginning right now. That is what's coming there to Louisiana and Cajun Field. Much, much, much needed for them. Next, we have Purdue going through a multi-phase renovation. That looks pretty sweet. It says student-athlete dining facility, Purdue fueling station. I guess that's just outside the stadium. Uh, so that's good for the athletes and things like that for Purdue. Uh, and, and I'm not sure. I think that's starting this offseason. So there, it's going to be a multi-phase one. And we will see what ends up happening with that. The next one we have is Texas Tech. They're doing a lot of different things. I like the look of that. Oh my goodness. That is a nice facade. Look at that brick they got going on there. Texas Tech getting a nice renovation in there one end zone, and then they've got all these nice brick buildings going up in and around the, the campus, so that's something to look forward to there with Texas Tech. That's coming soon. This is a very interesting project called The Balconies uh, with Mississippi State, where this is something we're seeing more and more of with baseball, actually. They're turning normal admission seating into social spaces, and this is really the first time I've seen a college do it. Mississippi State is doing it. The balconies will vary in size, meaning there is a disparity in the number of ticket holders allowed per spot in all. 
There are 10 balconies. All right, that's just saying random stuff about how much there are. But overall, it's just a social space. But so overall, it just looks like a social space. And, you know, on one part, it kind of just eats out a section of seats and they, you know, a bunch of kids probably go up there, get drunk, stuff like that. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. And then we do have Aloha Stadium number two, the dream in Hawaii. You know what? It, it, it's weird what happened with the uh, first Aloha Stadium and like, the, the decrepit state it ended up in and the NFL pulling the pro, the pro Bowl out of there and stuff like that. And now Hawaii can't even play there. They play at their own complex or whatever and it seats like 10,000 people. So, you know, can Hawaii actually get funding for uh, a waterfront stadium? It seems unlikely. I think they want this thing built by 2029 you know, I mean, what do they have, Pocahontas playing there? I don't even know what that is, but that's like uh, Avatar or something there. But we will see. And then we've got the University of Memphis going through an ex massive expansion. Around $200 million to revamp the overall stadium experience and the existing grounds around it. It's going to be completed for the 2025 football season. It's another multi-phase project, and it does look... I mean, that's a nice exterior look to it, huh? That's a futuristic, nice little stadium they've got there at Memphis. Uh, you know, and they've got that nice lighting ring around it that they want to make. I'm guessing that's going to be installed and brand new. So Memphis getting a massive facelift in the coming years. That's going to officially be completed by 2025. And we also have the Air Force. And, and you want to talk about much needed? They needed new seating. Oh my goodness. I was looking. The Air Force had this like, uh, what was it? A uh, One of the stadium series things. Yeah, it was like a hockey game there. And I saw the, the seating and it was so bad. But they're getting all brand new seating. It's actually going to be designed to where it says Air Force and then it has little lightning coming down. So that is something that uh, will be really, really cool in terms of that renovation. So the other quick thing I wanted to mention, we have Tennessee getting a major facelift really at the right time. I mean, Tennessee just had a breakout season. And so they're getting a big, big uh, budget there. It's right around $300 million, it looks like. Totally approved for just the complete renovation and, and making the stadium more modern. They want to modernize them. They don't want to build an entire new stadium. They just want to make it more modern. Uh, the new updated stuff, they've got brand new stadium Wi-Fi apparently for wireless connectivity. Vols letters add two sets of letters to reintroduce a traditional stadium feature. They've got more founders suites and private suites and a lounge. More restrooms, apparently. They're going to upgrade all the restrooms as well. So this is a big, big project for Tennessee. And yeah, there they are. You can see the little voles right there. That's a nice touch there. Uh, they do a really good job with like light shows with the SEC. That's what they're all about. They do a lot of light shows. Like I, I know Georgia has them. Alabama does as well. And Tennessee is getting a nice upgrade to their overall stadium, their interior. And it looks like they're upgrading their exterior as well. But mainly, it, it, it's not going to change the seating or anything like that. This is more of a structure, structure type thing where they're improving the infrastructure, all the concourses and things like that. So uh, those are the big potential renovations we're going to be seeing in college football in the coming years, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.